Hi, Scorpio. <laughs> Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you are having a beautiful and an amazing day. Thank you for all of your love and support. So Scorpio, if you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, thank you so much. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Scorpio. Please keep in mind that throughout the reading, signs and gender may be mentioned, but energy is fluid. So this could be past, present, future. He could be a she, she could be a he. The roles could be reversed. This may be related to anything in your life. This message is intended to guide you within so that you do not go without. So please just be discerning. Only take the messages that resonate with you. The magician card came out first. All right. It popped out. Here's the queen of cups. Your energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Scorpio here in the sun. It looks like you're manifesting something very beautiful right now with the sun energy. You know, if you are waiting on some type of response to something, I feel like you're going to get a yes. All right, to a volunteer, there's some kind of decision here. Some of you could be waiting right now for an approval for a home, an apartment, a car. I feel like there's an approval that's coming. It's going to go in your favor. Let's see. Yeah, eight of cups. Some of you are moving. You're walking away from something, but I feel like you're as you're walking away from one thing, you're actually walking towards something very new for yourself. The hangman is in the reverse. So this is a lot, the end of a lot of um burdens. The seven of swords is here and the two of swords. Hmm. And the page of swords. Okay. For you, Pi for you, Scorpio. I almost called you Pisces. You could have Pisces in your chart and be dealing with someone that has Pisces in their chart. I just almost called you Pisces. Scorpio, I feel like for some of you right now, you're walking away from something. Now, you could have felt like there was some type of tricky energy or manipulation happening. And it's possible. There's a lot. This is a lot of masculine energy right now. So I could be talking to a Scorpio that's in a masculine energy, whether you're a, a male or female. Okay, or this is about a a, a, a a a male in someone's life, possibly. But the Seven of Swords, Two of Swords, and the Page of Swords here, I feel like if I'm talking directly to you, Scorpio, you may be feeling like you need to sort of look over your shoulder because you walked away from something that was very tricky or manipulative at some point. You could have been stripped of some of your tools and resources at some point. And it feels like you're kind of in this mode right now of feeling a little bit paranoid about what's to happen. Be careful with that because you do not want to allow yourself to get in like a stuck, stagnant, stalemate, indecisive kind of energy. With the page of swords here, I feel like if you if you are in that type of energy, you need to try to change your perspective on how you're seeing something here or your experience about something. A, a simple shift in, in your mindset here, changing, like I said, your perception of something is going to shift your reality. Yeah, the nine of cups. Something ends up being wish fulfillment for you, but it feels like right now you're perceiving something that could actually be good for you as Something that may be problematic. So let's see what's going on here. Don't be too quick to pass judgment on a person or a situation here. The Ten of Wands just popped out. So there has been some type of burden. You feel stressed out, overburdened, or overworked, or this is a person that is coming towards you. Where someone here could be in this type of energy. All right? The Three of Pentacles. So some of you are walking away from a job. Or some type of partnership. I don't know. Maybe you feel like you're overworked. You're overstressed. Overburdened here. You don't really feel valued in this situation. The seven of swords and the four of cups. This is another person. You guys. This is definitely somebody else in your energy. Somebody is regretting the fact that maybe they were too afraid to take a chance on you. Two of swords and the lovers. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody here regrets that they didn't take a chance on you. Somebody was so busy looking over their shoulder or, or operating out of fear, you know, worried a lot about their stress or their anxiety, saying that it was the wrong timing or whatever. I feel like now somebody is regretful about this, but you have a new option here. There's a choice. 
So somebody was stuck at a crossroads a long time about making a choice about you. There's a new, a new like offer that has been presented to you. Some of you, a person was dragging their feet with making a decision. I think like now you're moving into a new job, a new home, new car. You could be relocating, traveling, and somebody was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, I, I, I thought that you were going to wait for me to come back. No. Somebody is recognizing that even with the Seven of Swords energy, if they had a plan to come back towards you, you're not where they left you. Page of Swords and the Queen of Swords. And I feel like for some you know that this person's watching you. You don't care. <laughs> king of Swords, Queen of Swords, King of Swords. Yeah, you're at odds with someone. There may not be any actual communication. There could be like some type of telepathic communication with the swords being here. Or this is someone that you mainly just talk to like online or via text. I feel like this is someone that there's communication with them. Maybe. I don't really get a lot of physical contact though with whoever this person is. Yeah, look at that. Somebody is super stressed out because you have the Ten of Pentacles now. Somebody cannot believe that you managed to move forward and that you have like this long-term victory and success coming into your life. This is somebody that definitely counted you out. Look at that, the high priestess. Somebody's like, what? They wish now that they would have fought for you and tried to move forward because now somebody else is stepping in that you're moving forward with. And this person, this situation with this other person has been put to rest. You could definitely have Pisces in your chart or be dealing with a person who has Pisces in their chart. Somebody did not really like your authenticity, who you actually are. That They wanted you to possibly be somebody else. And now somebody loves the fact that you're a high priestess. Somebody is somebody wants to fight for you. They're like, yeah, I like, I like the fact that you're spiritual. I like the fact that you're a high priestess. Somebody now likes everything that a past person chose to dislike or not fully embrace when it came to you. Somebody now is coming in and saying, well, I want it. I want it forever. I'll take it. One man's trash is another man's treasure, right? Somebody now is super stressed. Like, how, how did you get this? How did you manifest this? This is somebody that counted you out, though. They never thought that you would be seen in a certain type of light or you would experience a certain type of lifestyle or certain... Look, this person is obsessed. Somebody is so obsessed with how beautiful and amazing and lighthearted you are because, see, you have clean hands and a light heart. Therefore, you're attracting something. You've gone through some type of transformation and rebirth. Scorpio, you rule death. You, you rule transformation metamorphosis that's that's all you somebody thought that they was gonna knock you down and leave you for dead and that you know you was never gonna bounce back and you came out better than ever and they're like how did you do that how how did you manage to escape hangman in the reverse how did you manage to escape this depression why aren't you still waiting for me to come towards you somebody really thought that you was gonna sit around hopeless waiting on them to return to your life no you're the empress and they thought she was going to wait around for them to return. And what has happened now is somebody came right in and recognized that you're an empress and they want to be with you forever. And they like the fact that you're a high priestess. Will of Fortune. Look at that. Wait on who? Scorpio? Scorpio wait on the devil? What? Of course not. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Scorpio's like, uh... Wait on you for what? You're the sun. Looks good to me. I see you, Scorpio. <laughs> Somebody is coming in. And I feel like this person is coming in or whoever is in your life now, they bring you peace. You know, it's something, it could be small, slow, steady, but it's peaceful. You're not... You're not stressed out anymore. You're going straight towards your ten of cups, and this has somebody devastated because you got the you got the union, you got it. Somebody didn't think you would have this. They were hoping that you didn't have it. Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. The truth. Somebody has the truth now because they gave their offer to the Queen of Wands instead of them giving an offer to you, and they thought that you would never get an offer. But no, your offer still came. 
This part, somebody out here foolishly thought that the only way you would ever have a solid offer is if it came from you. And they made it a point not to offer it to you because they gave it to somebody else. So since they gave the offer to somebody else, God came in and he gave you the offer that you're supposed to receive that you could have offered to this person. Now they have the clarity. Oh, wow. I gave up an actual divine being. I, I gave up a real earth angel. Yeah, they see the truth now about Scorpio. And now somebody is sitting back paranoid. They're wounded. What did I do? How did, how did this happen? It happened. Everybody makes mistakes. But this was a mistake that was fated. It was fated to happen just like this. God has something bigger and better for you anyway, Scorpio. So don't worry about it. Yeah. This person here is, is struggling. They, they want to fight now. Now they want to be your equal. Now they want to match you. But... They can't. This nine of wands is this person that wants to, to come in and fight. They don't, they can't fight against the person that God has come in and already crowned as your as your, your person. This is your God ordained spouse that's coming in now. This person can do all the fighting against them that they want. It's not gonna change anything. Somebody lost their spot. It's over. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. This is you, very much secure, abundant, self-sufficient, maybe single. If you're single, you won't be single for long because the person that, the hierophant, the person that God says is aligned with your morals and values is here. And when the emperor comes for the nine of pentacles, the marriage makes you the empress. The emperor and the empress come together. First comes the marriage, then comes the baby carriage. So somebody <laughs> thought that, you know, they were going to destroy your life when they went and made their, their most stable offer to a queen of wands. Yeah, you may have been sad about it for a while, Scorpio, but they made space for your emperor. So it all worked out. This came out in the Pisces reading. These cards are still here, but you have your marriage. Some of you, the person that you're marrying is coming in because it's person that, you know, didn't see your worth, didn't see your value, didn't make you an offer. They're finally out of the way. They made space for your actual counterpart. So you should thank them. <laughs> I've been saying that all day. Like, I just feel like all these people that thought that they were in control and ruining the lives of people. We're very thankful for them, right? I like, be, be very, very thankful for, for the foolishness of these people because they, they, they set you up for such a huge win in your life. I'm looking for these cards. Okay, I found them. Let's see. Yeah. This person had, they kept a lot of secrets. This could have even been the kind of person that was like trying to date you and they knew that they were married. And I feel like for some of you with this secrets card here also, you've been moving in silence. Somebody here thought that they had you figured out. They didn't because there was something still very secretive. There was, there was a lot of hidden factors to whatever you've been manifesting. You're not sharing everything. You're keeping your mouth closed. If you're not, you should. You're not telling people what you, what you have going on because you already know that you're manifesting. You're happily ever after. You're not talking about this. And somebody thought that they were going to try to come in. This feels like the kind of person that's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to travel to go get Scorpio back in. And they show up at your house and somebody else opens the door. Or they show up at your house and, and you're no longer there. Like you moved to a whole different state or in some extreme case, you're in a totally different country. Or something. And they're like, whoa. Literally, somebody thought that you were always going to be in the same place. Even spiritually, somebody thought you were going to be in the same place. If a person here has been using some type of energetic manipulation of any kind, they thought that they would always be able to love bomb you, bind you, or keep you stuck somehow. This person right now is just like, I cannot believe Scorpio got out of whatever prison they tried to build around you. They can't believe it. And, and just as I say that, I just saw a certain deck of cards that has a person in a 
Somebody thought that you were going to forever be like some kind of caged bird. Let me get that deck. Um, let's see, Pisces. Pisces. Scorpio. Somebody has Pisces in their chart. Strong. Like... This could even be the person that you're dealing with or you dealt with. They could have Pisces somewhere in their chart. And, and this person, if they have Pisces somewhere in, in their chart, they could actually be quite um, psychic and or very intuitive. This person is shocked that whatever psychic insights that they were getting about you still didn't allow them to... Um, tricky you're dealing with a person that definitely is spiritual and they like i said they have pisces in their chart i keep saying pisces or this is you either you or someone you're dealing with or you dealt with in the past has some type of hidden gift or talent or or like psychic ability that someone wasn't aware of or someone didn't realize that it was so strong and therefore like they can't they can't Somebody just, they cannot pull the wool over your eyes. They can't. It's like you can you can sense this person coming from a mile away. Look, and they're angry about it. Somebody here is angry because you've been moving in silence. And I feel like, yeah, look at that. Reconciliation and delays. Somebody knows now that this idea that they're going to reconcile with you, it's not happening. But again, this person thought that they were going to catch you somewhere as being in a hot mess and that they were going to be able to reconcile and rebuild with you. But see, what you've been doing is secretly celebrating and, and possibly traveling too. You're, you're chasing after your dreams right now. This person is in this very dark energy, very much obsessed. This person is operating out of their shadow. And look, fragmented here. Whatever this part, this person, okay, Scorpio, you have someone who has been obsessively watching you, monitoring you, maybe even spiritually attacking you, hoping that, that you would be in this energy of like the hot, a hot mess. They wanted to create situations where you would be angry and you would experience delays. Some of you have possibly even experienced like travel delays or issues with communication. We did have the Queen and King of Swords that came out. Some of you, if you are in a new relationship, there's been some type of chaotic energy or a lot of miscommunication in your relationship. That's because you have someone in the background who is very much obsessed with you that's operating out of their shadow. This person is trying to cause like a split in your energy so that you will react or respond in some type of irate, angry manner around people who really care about you so that like they can sabotage your connections. I feel like you come to realize that somebody is doing this to you behind the scenes and you're just moving in silence. You're still traveling. You're still celebrating. You're still embracing new adventures. You're still planning to, to relocate or do whatever it is that you want to do. And somebody thought that if they created enough drama for you, that it may actually make it easier for them to come in and save the day, reconcile with you, and, and you would entertain a conversation about rebuilding with them. But that's not what happened. Instead, you cleaned up your life because you had to survive all of these hidden tactics of this person. Whatever this is, is hidden. It's unseen. But you know that it's toxic. You know that you don't hear it. You don't see it. This person isn't, isn't around you. Like I said earlier, I don't really think that this is someone who is physically coming around you. But they're doing things in, in the background. And they're addicted to doing things in the background. They're addicted to creating this person with this fragmented energy. They want to create chaos and conflict for you. And this person, they have a certain way where they are monitoring what you're doing. So if they, if they feel like you're traveling, they want to create travel delays. If they feel like you're, you're, you know, celebrating with somebody, they want you to, I don't know, have a wardrobe malfunction. This person is watching you some kind of way. And I really feel like it's some type of spiritual spotting. This person has something of yours like hat or they're working with some type of psychic or they themselves are psychic. But see, you survived 
whatever this is with this situation. You, you managed to survive and get out of it. It was a very, very toxic situation here. And this was really just something that was meant to teach you a lot of lessons with woman and deep thinking here. This was meant to teach you how to be more of a deep thinker, how to be very discerning and how to, to operate more from a, 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 a analytical, logical standpoint. See, this is someone here who was always very cold and calculated. They thought that you were going to be in the Queen of Cups energy of being very nurturing and, and super, you know, this empath and, and very nurturing and that you were going to let them love bomb you. This person has come back around and seen that your guards are up and you're the Queen of Swords. This is someone that is watching you. They're studying you, trying to figure out how to come in and finesse you. And I feel like they were met with a very, very rude awakening to see that here they are thinking that you're a hot mess and you're actually very happy. You're not the least bit bothered by this person. This is a person that wants to connect with you to keep a karmic cycle going because they have a lot of passion towards you. This, this is a lot of lust. This person wants to sleep with you. You know, you're like their fantasy person. You're their fallback. They're flunky. They're fantasy person. But they want to come in and finesse you like you're the one for them. There's no space for them to do that because the person that sees you as the actual divine being that you are, the actual earth angel that you are, the time has come for that person to come into your life. So your actual soulmate is here now. Your soulmate, the business opportunities and leadership opportunities are here for you. Therefore, you have these boundaries up. You're like, I'm, you're not coming over here to disturb my peace. You're not letting this person come in to disturb your peace because you know that this person only bothers you when they're bored. This person bothers you when, when they're experiencing some type of boredom. They come in and start to create issues in your life and then they leave. So th this is a narcissist that's, that's hoovering. They're, they're, they're trying to gather information. Hmm, I wonder what Scorpio is doing. Maybe they're going through financial issues or they're in an unhappy relationship or or they're just obsessed with you. They're, I wonder what Scorpio is doing. Let me figure out how I can go and study Scorpio. Let me hack their phone or their email or let me go and get readings or, or talk to psychics about them so I can figure out how to best go in and finesse them. This person does not want to come in for a long time. They only want to come in for a good time. That's it. This person is someone who likes to test your boundaries. But see, now, because you have a soulmate, because for some of you now, you're in a position of leadership, you know that you have all these different things happening for yourself. You're more discerning. You're not allowing this person in. They're shocked. And they're actually quite angry. Let's see. I'm, I'll be really, uh, well, I won't really be shocked, but I'm wondering if that card will come out in this deck that I saw. This, per this person wants you to be a caged bird. They can't believe that you're flying out <laughs> and seeing life for what it is in the world. King of Pentacles could be dealing with the Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Definitely um, a lot of like Taurus energy and Capricorn here. But for you, you're also, you are in this King of Pentacles energy or you have a King of Pentacles coming towards you. Someone who is stable, they're accomplished, they're successful. Your plans are working out. You have a lot of financial success coming as well. The Queen of Wands is here. Now this Queen of Wands was out here before. This also, too, if you could be embodying this Queen of Wands energy, this is someone, though, who thought that, like, if they come in with showing, like, money or leading with their success or with their money, that they will be able to easily, like, charm you into a karmic cycle with them. Six of Cups here. This is someone from your past. Yeah, this is someone from your past that, like, for some of you, they flaunt their money. This could be the kind of person that's like, you know, I'll fly you out. I'll take you on a trip. I'll, I'll buy you a gift or whatever. The Four of Pentacles is here. I feel like you're like, no, thanks. Because this is the energy of, you know, that somebody is only giving something, love bombing you to receive something in return. 
and, and when they're done, it's not going to be beneficial to you. It's not something long term. This is this definitely feels like the kind of energy of somebody that lives a double life and they're trying to woo you with what, what they may possibly be able to offer you. It doesn't matter. You're the empress. You don't need this person's money or anything else. You don't care about um their their status. That's the hierophant car. You could for sure be dealing with a Taurus. Or this is you with this Taurus like energy. Where you're, yeah, I feel like you could be dealing with heavy Capricorn Taurus energy in this reading, but you yourself right now, you're searching for something that's very meaningful in life. So you're going, you're, you're considering like a, a different approach. And I think I said that before about perception being reality. You need to see something differently here. Somebody is under the impression that if they present you with a, an offer leading with money or materials or something like that, that it's going to impress you and, and they're going to keep some kind of karmic cycle going with you. This could possibly be because for some of you right now, okay, let me tell you what I'm, I'm picking up on. Very specific. It all just kind of came together. Some of you, when you were dealing with somebody, I don't feel like you had the, the level of success that you have now. This person probably left you behind and chose somebody else. Very superficial, materialistic, narcissistic type of person. Now something has changed. So your, your tax bracket has gone up, your, your social status, your, your financial well-being, everything for you has changed. This person is looking at you now like, oh, maybe like you're a better match now because for many of you, maybe your financial situation or your appearance, something has improved. This person's like, well, if I come back around with my money, flaunting my money and, and my business accolades or whatever, you're going to see me as someone that, you know, you should deal with. But see, what somebody doesn't understand is that you may be embodying the energy of the Hierophant. You're not moved by money. You're moved by purpose. So no matter how much money somebody has, if they're not actually in their purpose or you know that they're not aligned with your purpose, you're not the least bit concerned with them. This is somebody here who is just like very much ruled by ego. Yeah, the Ace of Wands is here <laughs> with the Ten of Pentacles and the Chariot. I feel like for some of you, if this person is like trying, if this is the kind of person that's trying to lead with their money, you're like, um, duh, I have money. I have my own money and I make money by something that's my life purpose that I'm actually passionate about. So you're, you're like, um, could you maybe try something different? Because you're not impressed by this. This is the kind of person that like will text you after no contact, they'll text you a picture of a car or a house or a new bag or something that it, as if it's supposed to impress you. And you're like, oh yeah, you know, I just, I just took, you know, uh, I just traveled to, to 20 different countries for my job and I'm happy. And they're like, oh wow. So you're not impressed? No. I feel like this is somebody who is shocked to see that they can't impress you because your life has leveled up and upgraded, even spiritually. Even if, if you were drawn to this person before because of their stability or their accomplishments, because you've now reached a level of, of personal growth and development and overall just wish fulfillment for yourself. And I'm not even talking about money. You just know that this person is not actually successful. They're actually just very superficial. You're looking for something that has more meaning to it. It has depth. This is something that's very much just surface level. You're not the least bit concerned. And some of you now, you're in a partnership with somebody that's aligned with your purpose. So you're, you're not interested in this person at all. 
they're really making a fool of themselves. The Ten of Wands is here with the Hangman. And the Five of Wands. And here's the Two of Cups. Yeah. The Five of Wands and the, the Ten of Wands. This is somebody who literally, or some of you, has been competing with you. You have like an ex-friend, a lover. It could be a family member. This person is competing with you. Like they're challenging you. But somebody doesn't understand that the way you operate is through having like self-control, discipline, having patience. So this is like you saying, well, I have nice things or even if I don't have the things that you have, I know I'll get it, but I'm not willing to sell my soul to get it. This person is like, this is somebody that's like flaunting in front of you. I have this. I mean, like, that's cool. I'll have that one day. But I'll wait, I'll wait on God's timing and I'm not going to sell my soul. This person has already sold their soul for everything that they have. And they, they're, they're so used to people falling for what they present. They thought that you were going to do the same thing. And you're like, no, because I know how you got what you have. <laughs> There's nothing righteous about you or the things that you do to get the things that you have. So because everything that you have is, is on a loan from the devil, why would I be concerned about it? Why would I be concerned with what you have when I can wait on God to send me what you have and more? And I don't, and I don't have to give it back. This is like that, that Midas versus the miser type of energy. Like somebody here is really just trying hard to impress you and still not recognizing that you just recognize ego and superficiality. You're, you're, you don't, somebody can't finesse you with their, their reality that looks to be nice because you're so intuitive or psychic you know obviously your perception tells you that something is fake it's phony so you're you're not easily tricked or fooled or finessed somebody's like wow <laughs> they're not used to that this is somebody i'm telling you they they flaunt money or Whatever they have, and I feel like most people just fall on the floor about it. They're not used to somebody like you. That's like, yeah, no, not interested. You're like the psychic investigator, Scorpio. So however somebody presents themselves, you're able to always look into, look beneath the surface to see what's fake. You see nothing but fake energy on this person. The chariot, 714, July 14th could be a significance for somebody. But this is the chariot. I think before I said this was the hangman, this is actually the temperance card. I just looked at this. It's a temperance card. Yeah, you, you're you patiently waiting. See, when it comes to you and your chariot, your journey, you've been patient about getting what you want. This also feels too, for some, for some of you, it's like a person out here is trying very hard to convince you to operate out of darkness. It, it feels like a person is is trying to trick you. Like you know, you could you know you could have more if you worked with me. You know that you know this is the kind of person. If they're superficial and maybe they are well off, they're like, and you're dating someone. Well, you know, you know, I I could I could give you more. I could take you on shopping sprees. I could do this. I could do that. They're leading with what they can do, and you're like, I don't worship. The devil, like I, I, I'm, I'm in this world, but I'm not of this world. So I don't need you to, to try to buy me because I know you're trying to literally take my soul from me. This is somebody who is upset though. I'm telling you. And the fact now that you have the two of cups here, this card says two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful. Kindred spirits, don't give up on those you love. Yeah. You're, you're choosing to be faithful and devoted to a person that you feel like you can change the world with. You don't want this dirty offer from this finesser. You don't. 
I don't blame you. You have somebody out here that they, they love the same things that you love. And, and they don't want to sell their soul to get anything in life. It may take you a little bit longer to achieve certain things. But again, you don't have to give it back. You won't be looking over your shoulder all the time. Somebody here has done magic or some kind of manipulation. They th This is how they travel. They may even travel to do magic. Seven of swords, two of swords, and now somebody is getting caught up. Somebody is about to run out of luck with whatever they're doing. But anyway, this person is getting on my nerves. They, they took over this reading. Let's see. I feel like this person orbits your energy, though. That's how this reading feels. They're, they're like working on you. This For some of you, this person is doing some kind of spiritual work on you. They're really, really trying to... Five of Cups, Ace of Wands, like make you feel so regretful and guilty and they want you to experience some type of loss and despair. Like, you know, your life would just be better if you did what I say. This person is trying to spiritually um, dictate and control you into being in a karmic cycle with them. Here is the... I just saw the emperor and the five of pentacles. I feel like this is someone you left out in the cold, but this person, they want you to feel left out in the cold because you don't want to be down with them. This is someone that's like, well, I'll just attack your finances and, and make sure that you feel really bad because you won't come and be a part of my group. You won't build a life with me, but you're stronger than what this person has ever given you credit for. I'm telling you, somebody is literally trying to force you to like sell your soul to, look, I just said, this person's trying to force you to sell your soul to the devil because that's what they've done. Mm -mm -mm. The fool card, because they know that you're free. That's, that's all this is. They know that you're free and you're stepping into the unknown. You're embracing your new beginning where there is happiness, there's wish fulfillment. This person thought that you were naive, though, that you were so naive that they could create enough hardships and suffering, but you're, you have all this strength and courage. The strength card also is a card of patience. Not only that, yeah, in the end, you're going to end up with exactly what you want, the Ten of Cups. This is someone here who just cannot believe that they've lost and they hate to lose control because you're standing up and defending yourself. Seven of Wands. You're defending yourself with this person. You're standing your ground. You're challenging this person. They're not used to that at all. The Sun. And for you, everything is going to go in your favor. The Sun with the Ace of Swords here. King of Cups. Scorpio energy. Whether male or female. But for some of you, you're dealing with a person... They have Pisces and Scorpio somewhere in their chart too. So there could be a very strong psychic or like emotional connection between you and this person. It doesn't matter though. It doesn't matter what's there because you are being given this brand new beginning because you're the high priestess. Your intuition is stronger than this person. Your intuition is very strong. So anything that they try to throw at you, it's not working. And I feel like for some of you, if you have someone in your life, that person is also someone who is trustworthy and devoted to you. It's like for, for many of you, I feel like what I love about this reading so far, even though this energy of this person is trying so hard to make themselves known and relevant, I feel like your confidence is so quiet. Like your, your confidence is, I'm sorry, it's really loud. This person's insecurity is why they're coming out so boldly in this reading. But whatever it is about you, and if you are connected with somebody else, it's so subtle. You're moving in silence. You don't even have to say much. Because it's like you're letting this foolish person, they're making themselves look foolish for the things that they're doing. To try and dictate, control, and possess you. Four of Pentacles. The whole time you're still working to manifest the Ace of Pentacles 
and the Ace of Cups. And I know for a sure fact, some of you have to be have Pisces in your chart or be dealing with the Pisces because Pisces, in their reading, they have the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles that came out together, but in a different deck. So there could be there could be a Scorpio and Pisces who are connecting in a partnership, but you guys also have someone who has like Pisces or Scorpio that is trying to block your connections as well. Some of you as Scorpios, especially, you tend to have a lot of very deep spiritual psychic connections with people. I feel like somebody out here, some of you, you're just a magnet for very spiritual people or even people who are like into the occult and things like that. You're a magnet for people who have that type of energy. So you could have a lot of different people that you've been with and that are drawn to you who, who are, you know, very spiritual or they're psychic. They have some type of psychic gift of some kind. Somebody here is trying to trick you with their gift, but you have someone out here that you could be connected to already or about to connect with, they're very gifted and they're spiritually powerful. But they don't have to flaunt it or say much about it. But you don't want to challenge this person in the spirit. I can guarantee you that. For some of you, you have a masculine or a feminine by your side. There's somebody that keeps feeling like they can attack you. They better not try to play with this other person though. Or this is you, Scorpio. Somebody could be attacking your person or situation. They haven't seen any type of wrath yet. But if they keep playing around with you, they're going to find out very soon. Somebody out here thinks that they're so spiritually strong and, and wise and they have all these tricks up their sleeve. Somebody doesn't realize they really met their match. They don't recognize it because the person that is their match, whether this is you, Scorpio, or someone that you are connected to, it's just quiet. Somebody is, is believing that a person being quiet makes them naive and gullible. No, you should be very afraid of the person that doesn't say anything. Very afraid. Because I'm going to tell you, the high priestess does not speak. The high priestess knows everything and won't say a word. The high priestess does not tell you his or her secrets ever. But trust me, they know exactly how to get rid of him. Every time. So somebody needs to wake up real soon and realize that um they're about to get themselves canceled out in the worst way. Because I feel like somebody, you've, you've had enough. I can tell in this reading how this energy is just orbiting your reading. Like somebody here is, like they're not giving up. They, they, they don't care. I feel like somebody is going to mess around and find out. Like somebody needs to stop poking at the bear. Because it's this, again, it's like that temperance energy. Someone here has a lot of self-control, a lot of self-control. Someone could have Sagittarius in their chart and somebody feels like they can easily taunt or torment this person. Because someone here practices so much self-control, they're not quick to act. But see, this is the kind of energy, like Sagittarius, Scorpio energy. That's the kind of, once this person gets mad, they're going to see all, like, all, all black. It, it, it's going to be a blackout for everybody. And I'm assuming, like, somebody... I'm telling somebody just they don't expect it. That's what's gonna happen though. Somebody is is barking up the wrong tree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see that like clearly. Somebody has dreams. So somebody thinks that a person isn't aware of what's happening. This person that already is, is having dreams and knows exactly who who their opponent is, who their target is. It's giving like this sniper energy. You don't see this person coming. Or Scorpio, this is you. These people, they don't see you coming. But they think because you're not saying anything that they can play with you. They'll find out. They will find out. 
Because you're, you're like constantly receiving a lot of divine guidance that's helping you to, to transition and move through whatever this season is. Somebody's trying to have a create a season of, of hardship for you. And I feel like on a on a spirit on a soul level, your soul is tired of this energy. Like that's what I mean. Your soul is tired of this person, this entity, or this energy. That it's like at this point, something is about to drive you into survival. You know, like a person, like your survival instincts are kicking in. That's what I'm feeling. Somebody keeps poking and taunting you so much and tormenting you spiritually that it's like it's going to push you into your like your survival instincts where something in your soul is going to awaken and it's going to completely destroy this energy. Because I feel like spiritually you've just had enough. You've had enough. Yeah, moving forward. Confu you're tired of this confusion. You're tired of it. Wow. Tell me that, y'all, right? I just love when this happens. You have here weeping wound. Weeping wound and wisdom in play. What I say, you're tired of this same weeping wound. You're tired of this person who has hurt you, trying so hard to confuse you on your path, and now wisdom is in play. You see this person here? This is alchemy. And this card literally says, our intuition knows more than we do. Some of you, if you're into anything metaphysical, I feel like you're about to whip something up in the kitchen that's going to destroy somebody. Somebody thinks that, oh, Scorpio does Scorpio won't return anything to me. Scorpio won't do anything. I just keep on beating Scorpio in the spirit. And Scorpio is about to say, you know what? I've, I've had enough. So let me just go ahead and take care of this situation. And I feel like once you do it, Scorpio, that's gonna be it's just gonna be a one and done. It's gonna be a one because this is actually now it's affecting your ability to manifest something with your own creative power. This card says, re release your alchemical energy into the world. I'm telling you, somebody is barking up the wrong tree. Because when you release this energy, once somebody pushes you fully into your survival instincts, and some of you, you could be a mother. You carry this mothering energy. You're like, I have to protect myself and and, and the future generation or, or my cubs at all at all. At all times, somebody is constantly coming for you and you're, you're going into survival mode, meaning you're ready now to attack. It says growth hurts, heals and harnesses a way through the uncertainty. This weeping wound here, all of this heartache and pain that has led to all of this confusion has helped you to grow and become very discerning. And I feel like somebody now, your discernment and your wisdom is telling you that at this point, it, it's very much needed for you to defend yourself in, in a very specific type of way. It's, it's a specific prayer or something. And I know everybody chooses to protect themselves different. I'm not here to counsel you on what you choose to do when it comes to your own sacred and spiritual practices. But somebody here has had enough. And when they release this energy out to get somebody off of their, their back, I promise you, you'll never have to worry about this person again. Because this person is going to go through a, a serious transition. And this is you needing to understand that your soul has awakened. You have all of the inner resources that you need to cross whatever bridges arise on your path. I feel like this is God. This is spirit. This is the universe. Your spiritual God telling you at this time, do what you need to do. Because I, I can guarantee you're fully supported. Somebody here has pushed you to the brink of absolutely no return. 
And if you have to get with them at this point on whatever level you choose to, I feel like you're fully supported because somebody is coming for your actual creative power, the essence of who you truly are, but they don't even know the essence of who you are. You're Scorpio. You rule death. It's like somebody is constantly trying to create death in your life, not understanding you rule death. I have a reading like this from so long. It's like somebody doesn't understand that you're like best friends with the green with the Grim Reaper. It's like, what are you doing? You you do know that the, the Grim Reaper is like on speed dial for Scorpio. So what are you doing? I mean, what 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 do you want to happen here? It's foolish. It's very foolish. False beliefs. It says once the untruths that we believe about ourselves are eliminated, so are the ways we can release the false limitations they confine us to. I'm telling you, it's something here about your perception or someone else's perception. As your perception about who you are and the power that you actually possess changes, it's going to change your reality. Somebody out here also may have a, a false belief that it's wrong for you to protect yourself against this type of energy. But it's like it's needed for you to get this out of your energetic field completely. You're going to have to be emptied of whatever this dark, this like nasty wound is because it's creating so much confusion. This is like a really bad soul tie. And when you rid yourself of this, you're going to be able to move forward. And you're also going to have an ability to finally embrace intimacy and also connection with other people. Some of you like literally this is some type of. It almost it feels like a person, but it almost feels like an entity that has like been trying to hurt you, dictate and control you and keep you out of communities and, and networks of people who support you and constantly leading you to be confused and, and believing all of these false narratives about yourself. And it's also that you do not move forward and step into your creative power. For some of you, honestly, this, especially like the invisible forces, this is like an entity that is attacking you because you're moving forward into this creative power. And since you're using your energy, your own life force energy, this entity or this person is upset because they aren't able to siphon and, and harvest enough of your energy to continue doing whatever they're doing. And with this transitions card, this is like some, this is a very dark, nasty person, a narcissist that without your energy, they're like, I mean, this person, they've already self-destructed, but this person is lifeless. This is someone here who is continuously, though, trying very hard to, like, swap place. So I'm telling you, some of you, this is like an entity or something that is connecting with you. And it's trying very, or a person, a person is being controlled by some type of entity. It wants you to always be brokenhearted and confused and to doubt yourself and to feel like you are completely empty. This person is trying to empty you of all of your goodness so that it can fill you up with a lot of darkness. And it does not want you to embrace the unknown or, or have any type of intimacy. And when I say intimacy, I'm not talking about sexual. It doesn't want you to have any type of close connections. So for some of you, you could want to support other people, other like-minded people and go towards your soul. This thing is like, no, I don't want you to be around anybody. I don't want you to be seen. I don't want you to have support. But something about your soul knows things about the unknown you know things that other people don't know you you know things that you haven't seen or heard before it's because you're a natural born high priestess for some of you somebody doesn't want you to understand that about yourself you you have some kind of alchemical power a gift a talent and an ability somebody this thing or this person they know this about you they don't want you to know because if you know they know that you can destroy them 
And it's not even that this, this person or this thing is worried about being destroyed. It's mainly just worried about you finding out who you are. Because this is some, this is a person that's dead anyway. Even if this person is, they're walking around dead anyway. <laughs> it, it just pains this person for you to be full of life. For you to use your own sacral creative energy for yourself to move forward. For some of you, this is like some type of generational hex or curse. You're fighting against this. Because you're supposed to be giving birth to something very beautiful. For some of you, honestly, you have a purpose to create like a community or network of people who support one another. Like other light workers or something like that. Maybe you are the type of person you want to motivate other people to, you know, love themselves. Or you work with other healers. Or you definitely could be working with women and, and, and mothers. There's an energy out here that hates the fact that you're promoting wellness. It, it wants you to... It, 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 this is like the devil fighting against you. This, this, this whole purpose that you have to help people tap into their wisdom and to create... I mean, for some of you, you want to create wellness retreats. You want to do somebody here, you want to do something serious with women. You want to help women who are going through a transition and embracing the unknown. You want to help these women to overcome some type of heartache or, or pain. So somebody out here, you're supposed to be creating like a healing, a healing place or a community for other people similar to you. You have someone that's really, really fighting against this. But they're fight it's it's heavy because this is like an entity that knows how powerful you are. This is something that's fighting against your influence. Yeah, that's why this Taurus card is out here. Somebody here knows that you have the power to influence people to find meaning and purpose in their life. And you are supposed to be surrounding yourself with a lot of people who are very wise. Or the more of these people who come together, the more people are going to be on this planet with all of this divine wisdom and guidance. So you have somebody that's like, wait a minute, whoever this, this, this divine feminine energy is that's trying to go out here and create this change, we need to block this person. For some of you, this is actually, like a, and I remember now the three, this is like a community that's trying very hard to block you because of your overall power and the influence that you possess. They're afraid of you. And they want you to lack direction and be very confused so that you never go and create like this community or these retreats or seminars, workshops or podcast, whatever you're supposed to be doing that's going to encourage other people to, to be um, healed and to get away from these jealous, envious, possessive, narcissistic people. They're like, wait, whoa, whoa, wait. Wait a minute. We don't need another light worker healer out here. And so you're being targeted. Somebody is, does not want you to produce this community because they know that your light is going to draw in so many like other people who are very wise, who are divinely guided. Somebody just feels like you're way too powerful. You are way, way too powerful. Your story is way too powerful. Your voice is way too powerful. And the community that you may possibly create will be a real force to be reckoned with. And they do not want this to happen. So you have a community that's blocking you. Because I'm telling you right now, you're supposed to be moving forward. To help other people. find who they truly are. You could be helping women who have experienced some type of abuse. You could be helping women who are, I, this is very specific, but women who may have issues with um, healthcare, with this weeping wound here, women who possibly don't have the proper healthcare for, for certain um, medical treatment. It's like somebody here, you're an advocate for women. 
You're the, your real advocate. You you like you have the power to get doctors, lawyers, and other people together to help women who are in need. And you have a person or an entity that is like targeting you to confuse you and to stop and block you. You need to get up every single day and be working on this vision because it's something that is major. It's supposed to be like, it's life changing. Truly. Truly. And somebody knows this. This is a gatekeeper that's doing this. But see, you're a gatekeeper too. You're the eternal gatekeeper. It says acknowledge, assert, and protect what is right for you. Somebody also is mad too that you're gatekeeping. This could be somebody here who is upset that you're not working with them. Oh, that's what this is. You got a gatekeeper. Somebody is mad that you're choosing to do something by yourself instead of with this group or this community. You're keeping your plans to yourself. And somebody is so pissed off about this. Like, how dare you? Because they already know that as powerful as you are, somebody's like, man, we can't, we, like, these people want to have success with you. Because they know that whatever you do is going to be so big. This is a community of people who are gatekeeping. It's an entity, principalities working against you because they feel like you're gatekeeping. Why won't you give us the, like somebody wants to, why won't you give them your formula to success? Why won't you give them ideas? Why won't you hang out with them? Why did you plan a retreat alone instead of with a group of people? Somebody's like, well, why don't you want to have a partner? You're like, no, I want to do this solo. Why don't you want to have a partner? This is somebody that wants to partner with you because they want to mooch off of you. They don't have the power and influence, so they want to ride your coattails. And you're like, no, I'll do it by myself. Even if it takes me a little bit longer, I'll do it by myself. You have partners, friends, family, colleagues that all feel that you have a lover or an ex-lover that's mad. Why are you so successful without me? You have people that work, want to work with you. Well, why do you want to go about doing this solo? Why can't we be partners? This is people, you know, we brainstormed about the ideas together. You're like, yeah, but I executed by myself. Well, why do you have to do it by yourself? Why, why don't you want to work with us? Oh, you think you're too good to work for us? Yeah, actually I do. And what about it? Because I feel like whatever it is, Scorpio, that you're working on, you're protecting it. It's something near and dear to you. You're protecting it with everything that you have. This is your purpose that you're protecting. So yeah, you do feel like you're too good or this is too sensitive. It's too important. It's too big. It's, it's, it's divinely guided. You're like, I don't need your assistance. God is helping me to do this. I don't need you to help me. Especially if people are trying to come in and work alongside with you. And you know for a sure fact that they don't even have the same intentions as you. When you're working in your purpose, usually you need to go about it alone because other people, no matter how supportive they appear to be, they do not have the same intentions. And this is not something that you can even run the risk of dealing with a person that has any type of hidden agendas or malicious intentions. So it may take you longer to do it, but I understand why you want to do it the right way. And that may mean that you have to do it solo. And nobody should be able to dictate or control or possess you or make you do something that you don't want to do. They're attacking you to make you back down. And they're also pissed off because they don't know what you're doing. And they don't know how you're, how are you getting the resources? How are you getting the funding? How are you getting the people? How are you getting these ideas? Uh, like I tell people, for myself and people, ask, I talk to God a lot. I don't know what else to tell you. And our conversations are, are, are very much private, confidential. So you're not going to bully me into telling you anything or doing anything with you. Scorpio, you're extremely powerful. 
and you need to make sure that you own that. And please continue working on this huge, huge plan or vision that you have for yourself and for others. It's something that is needed. I was going to pull more cards. I'm going to leave it there. Um, your reading was really, really long, Scorpio, but... Um, yeah, you, you have a big purpose. Friends, family, lovers, everybody is coming up against you. You have something in you that is huge. It's a legacy. This is something that everybody will remember you for. Even after, I'm here even after you transition, this will still be around. It's true. Scorpio, this message is not for everyone. But for those of you who resonate, you're a legacy builder. And you're selective in who's going to be part of your legacy. People are trying to strong arm you to, to force them their, themselves in your story. They can't. You're a legacy builder and, and you're, you're doing something that's going to make you appear as legendary. Most of the people that you know and some of the people that you love, they cannot be a part of this. And that's just what it is. And at this point, the people who are constantly coming up against you, because God is fully supporting what you're doing, this is your soul contract, this is your mission, you're following the instructions that have been given to you by the Most High God, again, your survival instincts are going to start triggering you're a spiritual team. And these people, I'm telling you, they're no match for the people that are willing to support you. They're no match for the angels and the spirit guides that will step in to stand firmly in protecting you. But they're going to have to find out the hard way. Let it, let it happen. Because at this point, the Scorpios that I'm talking to, whatever you're doing, you don't really have to do anything but be obedient. All God wants you to do is produce whatever it is that he's telling you to produce. You don't have to lift your finger to fight anybody. And that's why they keep coming for you. Let me poke and let me poke. Let me let me catch you, you know, outside. Let me get you out of your character. So they can say, I told you that Scorpio wasn't really a good person. I told you that Scorpio wasn't really better than us. Trust me, God won't give these people an opportunity to ever make you look like a fool. They continue to make themselves look like a fool. Do your best, Scorpio. The world is waiting on you to do something big. So, I actually, I'm going to see. We have our Believe in Your Own Magic. This message is so divinely guided. Look, I said, what did I just say? I said, the world is waiting on you. This card says the world awaits you. Focus on the here and now. And this says nostalgia. You have people from your past, especially. Why is Scorpio doing this? Why does Scorpio relocate? Why does Scorpio leave their job? Why isn't Scorpio in their relationship anymore? Why is Scorpio not coming to our functions? Why doesn't Scorpio go to this church anymore? Why doesn't Scorpio want to come to the brunch? Why does it, why Scorpio, why, like everybody wants to know why you're doing what you're doing, Scorpio. Spirit is saying, focus on here and now. Don't worry about these people. Because there's a whole world and a whole community that is ready to welcome you for what you have to actually present. That these people that were always around you, they don't even understand it. They're not even, they're, these people aren't even worthy of you. And that's why they got moved around. That's why you were shifted away from these people. I just said it. Start a revolution. You never needed those wings to fly. And look at this. Tree, let them go. And endings are inevitable. Homestead, take yourself on a date. You don't need anybody. You don't have to have a, a partner. You don't have to be in a relationship. You don't have to have friends. You don't have to have family. I think these cards are literally saying... Endings are inevitable. The tree here, this is like people in your family tree. Let them go. 
partners from the past that didn't value you, let them go. You can take yourself out on a date. You can create your own family. You can meet friends that will become your family. People who are in your family, blood isn't always thicker than water. I don't care if you're married to somebody, they don't support you, they can, they can get lost too. It's not about them anymore, Scorpio. It's all about you at this point. So you should go out and start a revolution. Look, that's just like that card that we saw before. Women supporting women. It's a Scorpio out here. You're supposed to be helping women. Women supporting women. Start a revolution. And that's why people don't like you. Because you're, you're creating a, a revolution here where you're teaching women, hey, go love yourself. You're helping people to see endings are inevitable and you do not have to have friends, family, or lovers in order for you to embrace who you truly are. And this got a lot of people real upset. That's it for you, Scorpio. I love this energy for you. It's very, very serious. It's a very powerful energy, but this, this is what it is. You're starting a revolution and you're letting everybody go to do so. And you're being divinely protected and guided to do it. Be on a very bold and unapologetic about it. I support you. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Um, I just started back doing Zodiac readings on the channel. So you guys, you will have to... Let me know in the comments if these readings are resonating because I'll be honest, if I'm going to do an hour long reading for you guys, if there is no interaction, I won't keep doing them. Being honest. <laughs> we all have to focus on our goals. So I have to be intentional about how I spend my time. Um, but if you guys like this, if it's a message that is guiding you within, empowering you and you want to see more, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe and share. I love you guys. Please always go within so that you do not go without and I will catch you on the next one. Bye.